at a 13 hour work day it's pretty fucking brutal especially the kind of work that I do I had about 45 minutes of downtime so I passed out <laughs> and during this I had this odd maybe not that odd now that I piece it together it makes a lot of fucking sense so I'm not saying this is fact. Don't come at me like I'm saying this is fact. But something perhaps to consider. The United States is facing a major food shortage. And it's starting with our meat producing. A huge amount of our livestock is ordered to be shot essentially animals dying for nothing and rotting rotting in fields and dumpsters while strange meat from other countries are being flown in countries with lax standards <laughs> i think it's putting it nicely in the dream i am dreaming that I'm at a laboratory and I am seeing people and parts of people being grown I guess in large petri dishes and some in sort of floating balloons submerged in some kind of solution and then as I wake up it kind of dawns on me China had 21 million cell phone subscribers just disappear among various companies. I'm willing to bet that a large percentage of those Chinese are taken. Because in order to grow laboratory meat, you need cell and muscular tissues biopsied from living creatures well if China wanted to absolutely own the laboratory meat industry which I could imagine it does the possibility of 21 million Chinese missing presumed dead who knows that's a lot of it's uh, a lot of backstock for a lot of growable meat. Don't think China wouldn't do it. They need to make us as sick as they are. I have from 2009 on been telling YouTube <laughs> before it was cool that the elite eight people, eight children. I mean, that was unthinkable then. I think it's becoming somewhat widespread, understood now. So China treats its people like livestock. Why wouldn't they actually be livestock? Are you fucking kidding me? You want to eat meat grown in a laboratory? I don't know. It's each its own, I guess. But I got a feeling it's going to be people. Mark my words. This is one of those videos that you're going to come back to maybe two, three years later and be like, holy shit, he was right again. One of those videos that I'm probably not going to get credit for, as every other YouTuber, conspiracy theorist. <laughs> that's happened a lot has gone through my older videos and uh, let's just say almost word for word verbatim yeah so I'm gonna give it to you right now lab meat especially coming out of China you watch its people that's a lovely thought chew on that